Hey, welcome to the channel, everyone. Today, we're going to show you how to establish communication between an 8055 CNC and your PC. You will need a USB to RS-232 converter, and we'll need to make up a cable that is female to female, and we're going to follow this diagram here. Now, take note that this connection is a direct connection between your PC and your CNC. So the first thing we need to do is we need to open up our browser. We need to go over to Fagor Automation. I have it saved. Uh, if you don't have that website, uh, again, it's fagorautomation.com. Once you're there, you want to go over to the download section. Once in the download section, you will need to enter your username and password. If you do not have that, what you can do is you can click on sign up and, and create an account. In my case, I have one already. I'm going to type that information in along with a password and press enter down here. Once there, you want to go over to the business section, click on the business and select CNC systems. Once loaded, uh, the first thing that you're going to see is catalogs here. You're going to continue to go down. Uh, eventually, you'll get over to the uh, CAD drawings. And then you'll finally end up at the uh, software section. What you want to do is you want to select Setup for Windows DNC, and you want to click on the English version, EN. This will automatically uh, download the software. In my case, I've downloaded before, so you'll see that it says WinDNC and then a one after that. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it to make sure it uh, launches. It's gonna, it's a zip file, so uh, in my case, this opened up uh, WinRAR. I'm gonna select WinDNC 6.02 installer. We're gonna click on that. Oh, there we go. Let's go ahead and launch. It's going to say, do you want to install this? We're going to go ahead and click yes. Select the language. English is fine. Click OK. Next thing, it's going to go through the you know uh, recommendations and so on. Click next uh, to continue. So next. The default directory for me is fine under C Fagor. Click installation. It's going to begin the process of installation and this is checked off, so it says run WinDNC automatically as soon as I click finish. Once this starts, we'll have to set up a connection with our existing control that we're trying to communicate with. So we're going to click on WinDNC. First things first is let's go to options, and uh, the language is set up to English, which is fine. You're going to select file sending. I like uh, selecting file load and deleting. This allows you to override an existing file that's already in the CNC. Now we're going to hit the uh, check mark key here. Next thing is we're going to go to setup and under setup what we need to do is we need to establish a new connection to whatever CNC you're trying to communicate with. So I'm going to go ahead and select new. I can type in a name. So let's pretend this is a uh, uh, new machine with an 8055 MC control. I press enter. The next thing is, what is the model of CNC that I'm trying to communicate with? In my case, uh, it's gonna be an 8050M, 8055M. Uh, the type of connection is gonna be serial line. Uh, connection on startup is not necessary, uh, so I'm gonna leave this uh, checked off. Uh, the, the port. This is important. If you are using a USB to serial port converter, you need to go to Device Manager and confirm to what COM port you have that uh, device connected to. So how do you do this? Well, you can open up Windows uh, Explorer, go over to this PC, right click on it, click on Properties, and go to Device Manager. Under Device Manager, you want to go down to COM port, and you'll see that my USB to serial port communication is connected to COM4. So I need to make sure that when I set up WinDNC, I select COM4. Now, 
Another thing I want to point out is to be careful if you would connect that serial port uh, to USB converter to a different COM port on your computer, you will need to change it in the future. So let's go ahead and close this out. We're going to go back to the uh, ports. I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to select COM number four. Next thing is let's set up the baud rate. We're going to go ahead and select the fastest baud rate possible. So double click on the 9600. I'm going to cursor down and select 115,000 200 baud rate. After that, we need to go to the work folder. The work folder is where we are going to save the information that we're backing up from the CNC to our laptop. Or if we're loading information from the laptop to the CNC, this is the folder that it will be looking for those files. So what I need to do is I need to double click this gray area here that says C. I'm going to navigate over to C. We're going to go down to Fagor, we're going to select WinDNC, we're going to go to Work, and I'm going to say let's create a new folder. In this new folder we're going to call um, 8055 MC Backup. Now notice that I'm creating the folder called 8055 MC Backup, but there will be four subfolders created automatically from the program. All right, so one folder will be for programs, one folder would be for tables or the parameters, one folder will be for graphic files, sometimes you'll have a customized screen on your CNC, this is where this will be backed up, and then you have another folder for remote keys. It is up to the software to decide where the programs belong, where the tables belong, where the graphics go, and the uh, remote key. So basically I'm going to hit enter to confirm. Here's the folder. Now I'm going to hit select and you'll see that my work folder now is updated to C, Fagor, WinDNC, Work, and my current folder called 8055 MC Backup. The CNC operator work folder I'm going to double click in the gray area and I'm going to go ahead and select the same folder that I created. So that goes under Fagor, that goes under WinDNC, under the work folder, and then I highlight the 8055 MC backup and I click select over here in this uh, left hand uh, corner. So select. Next thing is I need to select OK. And now I need to make sure that I select the actual um, configuration that I've made for this control. So I'm going to select new machine 8055 MC and I'm going to hit select. Once I hit select you'll notice that down at the bottom it's telling me uh, I'm trying to connect with the new machine 8050, 8055 MC. I'm using COM4, the baud rate and the control that I'm trying to communicate with along with the uh, work directory and the operator work directory. At this point we need to head on over to the control and make sure we have the parameters set up correctly to begin communication. Okay, so we're back on the CNC. We need to get over to the parameters of the CNC in order to modify the parameters for the RS-232. Currently, we're sitting on the conversational side of the CNC. We need to get over to the G-code side. So to do this, we need to press the Shift key followed by the Escape key. Once on the G-code end of the control, you'll need to press the F7 or the plus key. We now need to go to machine parameters, so we're going to press the F4 key. We're going to go to serial port parameters, and now we're going to select RS-232 parameters. Now, your configuration may be different to what I have currently, so what I need you to do is I need you to press initialize, and you'll get a message on the lower left-hand corner saying, are you sure? You're going to press the enter key, to confirm that you've initialized the parameters. Now, older software will set the baud rate to 9600. What you want to do is you want to cursor, use the up and down arrow keys to make sure you have the uh, baud rate selected, parameter zero, highlight it, press F2 for modify, cursor over and erase uh, your current value, which could be uh, seven, and type in the value of 11 and press enter to confirm the new value. Now we'll have to restart the control in order for these changes to take effect 
So I need you to press the shift key followed by the reset key. This will do a warm boot of your control and we'll get over back to the uh, WinDNC software. We're back on the WinDNC setup. Now we need to establish the communication with the CNC. So I want to make sure that I select the configuration uh, that we've uh, set up already and I want to hit connect. And what I want to point out is that down at the bottom, originally this was red, and when I hit connect, it turns to white. You want to press escape on your keyboard. You're going to go over to files. On the right hand side, you'll have the CNC unit memory. On the left hand side, you'll have your PC directory. So in other words, that folder that we made earlier called 8055 MC backup. Press escape one time. Once the uh, process is completed, this takes you back one step. You're going to go back to view. You're going to go back to screens and you're going to repeat the process. Once this is backed up, one, again, you're going to hit the escape key. You're going to go back to view and you're going to select uh, WGD. Same thing. We're going to highlight the first one, gift wrapped and send it over to the left hand side. Process is completed, press the escape key, go back to view, and we're going to select uh, symbols. Same thing, highlight one of the files on top, hit this key and send over to the left hand side. The process is completed, press escape, go back to view, go to images, there's nothing there, go back to view, select keyboard, there's nothing there, the process is completed, press escape. Now if you were interested in sending something back to the CNC, you would click on view. Let's say we're going to send the program back, you're going to highlight the program on the left hand side and you're going to use this icon here pointing towards the right or the CNC memory. Now, uh, let's say you want to go ahead and edit one of these programs. You can use the uh, WinDNC program to highlight and you're going to use the pencil and paper icon here to look at the actual contents of uh, what's inside the actual program. All right, let's say you don't want to use Fago or WinDNC. Let's close that out. Just open up your Windows Explorer Go over to the C drive, go over to uh, Fagor, to WinDNC, over to Work, and our backup. And if you remember, we have four subfolders. So PRG is the programs. Double click on one of them, and you want to use Notepad to open it up. And the same thing, it's just a text editor that I can view programs, I can make changes, modifications, and then just save it as a normal file. I hope this video helped out.